Hello everybody, Ground back here, and I'm gonna be finally doing another challenge again. I will be playing against uh, Creeper Man, who I have seen in a few uh, videos, or you've seen in a few of these replays. Should be a lot of fun. And right off the back, Jolteon versus Smeargle. Hmm. This should be interesting. Oh, I don't know what this Smeargle has. This can actually be very annoying. I'm just going to go for double kick and hope for a crit. We'll see how this goes. And we'll see if they are too scared to stay in with Jolteon or Smeargle or not. I'm not even sure how much a non-crit does, but I'm curious. So I guess we will find out now, won't we? Hmm. I honestly... Oh, we got a crit. Ooh, a crit is only a two-hit KO. Okay, unfortunate. But this Miracle is almost dead, so... Oh, it's a double setter. Okay, so I can just keep trying to burn turns. Burn sweep turns until I can eventually... But... Okay, doesn't seem that bad. I, I have rest, so worst case scenario, I can just eventually... Okay, that's a little bit more... Concerning... Guess I have no choice but to switch into Alakazam. They're probably going for... Okay, they went for the kill. You okay, would have expected that, that's why I switched in the first place, but... Yeah, this is a little bit annoying. In Metagross. Hmm. I think I'll Thunder Wave it. It's paralyzed. And I think I'll switch into Jolteon so that I just have a queen switch in. Okay, good. Now I can just freely go in the Moltres. I can go for Fire Spin. We'll see what they switch into. Smeargle. Okay, that misses, but Fire Blast is lethal. Hey, but that misses too! You gotta be kidding me. What is with me missing Fire Blast in this series so far? This is really annoying, actually. I guess I'm going back into Alakazam. I'm just going for a recover. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, that's dead. That figures. I still have Great Tusk, though. Great Tusk should be able to uh, finish off. Uh, okay, that was horrible lag. It is lagging really bad for me right now. Holy shit. It is not just you guys. Like I could, I could didn't even realize I pressed a button right now. Holy crap! This is actually really bad. Hmm. Okay, this is going from bad to worse. I'm gonna switch into Alakazam and paralyze the Zapdos. I'll Thunder Wave it. Okay, I'll switch back in the Great Tusk. Okay, so far so good. I have Rock Slide. It'll do decent damage. Uh, oh, and so you got a crit. Okay, we take those. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll just go for Body Slam now. Kills with Drill Pack. I can Revenge Kill, and I'll choose to do that with Porygon. Bad scenario, and I doubt my ability to win this. Are you kidding me? Okay, at least I get two paralysis in a row. That's something, at least. And I need to remember that the Smeargle is basically already dead. Because of how low it is. So it's still a 3v3, basically. We have Zorwark. I can Thunder Wave this. We'll see what it goes for. Well Kick. Okay. I can easily switch into Alakazam for that. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Recover. Let's see how hard it hits. Hi okay, Hyper Brain is still killed anyways. Okay, that was a big misplay. Should have just paralyzed it. I'll Thunder Wave it still. Okay, that's good. It misses the low kick. I needed that. I'll go for Thunderbolt because it's more accurate. It does a whole bunch of damage anyways. So now I can just recover. Now do I keep... Oh, okay, cool. I get a free turn. So we get that HP back. We can go for Thunderbolt. So it's 2v2. I'm a little nervous, but... Okay, Porygon Mirror. I actually think I kind of want to go for Blizzard. Okay, that's annoying. 
Please break the speed tie. I did not break the speed tie. Ooh. I don't know if Hyper Beam KO is in, in this range. I have a strong feeling that it doesn't. Damage Calc. Hmm. This is... Hmm. <sighs> Okay, so let's see here. A Tauros. Tauros, blank set. Uh, we have a Giga Impact. Giga Impact, uh, max attack. Oh, I don't, uh, attacks here. And then Porygon Z. Porygon Z. Uh, max HP and defense. So that does uh, 63%. Oh, I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, figures. Oh boy. Do they recover here or do they go for the kill? I honestly don't know what they're going to go for, but that's what makes this terrifying. I really don't know what's going to happen now. Ugh. I think that was like the perfect damage range too. Went for Hyper Beam. Okay. Interesting. So what's the last Mon going to be? I don't think I can take it on, but we'll see. Okay, I need a crit. I need a crit. Okay, didn't get a crit. But, uh... Okay. Okay, that's fine. I can still... It's a best of three. And honestly, I... Uh, that one scene where it was lagging was really bad. I honestly didn't even want to go for Headrun Rush. I actually wanted to go for Sub, but I'm not sure if that makes a big deal or not. So put in the command again. This, this time I'll use that other team I tried using against Greg Gusco, but ended up getting crit a lot. Hmm. Alright. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, what could I have done differently? And yeah, we'll see. Zapdos lead. This is fine. I would rather the Zapdos get paralyzed. Not to mention, I can go for agility myself. And I don't even think you would want to go for that at the beginning. Because you don't even know what I'm going to use. So it goes for Thunderbolt. Okay, I can go for Clamp and... Do I go for Clamp here? Is that actually the right move? Or do I try to take out most of its health? I'm gonna go for Clamp. Unless it misses. Okay, this is now a really bad situation. I don't want to waste my Smear Gold just yet. Wait, what am I talking about? Glide score. Uh, this easily takes takes take this on. Easily. It goes for Drill Pick, but Glide score eats that up. I'll go for a Sword Stance of my own. Uh, Might need to go for two, in all honesty. Oh, I forgot that it's faster. Okay, I'm just doing really bad misplays right now. Wait, how did that... How did that happen? How did I outspeed? This has to be some Gen 1 uh, shenanigans. <laughs> okay, so, um... I'm in danger. I'll go for Ice Beam. Uh, Drill Peck's gonna hurt a lot, and Gliscor's now one of my main win cons down. But it's not unwinnable. How did- how did Chansey outspeed there? I am not- I am so confused as to how this works. Okay, takes out Gengar. I'm gonna switch into Smeargle, because I'm expecting a... Nightshade, not what I would have expected. I'll go back into Chansey. Uh, I don't fear- okay, yeah, there it is. I think I'm just being- I think I'm just being dumb. I'm not sure why I'm, I'm misplaying so much. Okay. That's good. But now what do I do? I think I'm gonna switch back into Smeargle. And I'll try to go for a, uh, Super Fang. Or just Gengar. I'll still try to go for Paralysis. Gengar takes it out. But I can... Hmm... I'm going to go back into Chansey, 
But then I'm going to switch into Skarmory, trying to bait out it Hypnosis. We'll see if it has Thunderbolt or not. Or not. Oh yeah, Thunderbolt, but also, like... Mm, I don't know what, is, what this Gengar has. It, it, I'm kind of scared of it, and, to be honest. And I'm just in a really bad position. I don't really know how to really get out of this. So the Skarmory is now asleep. I'll switch into Chansey. I can paralyze the Gengar. And they're switching into Dun Dun Sparse. So just go for Ice Beam. Maybe I can try to fish for a freeze. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'll probably get unlucky, but it's worth a shot. Wizard hits hard. But I can survive it. I'll soft foiled. And... Okay. I'll go for another one. I should be able to... Uh... Like, uh, theoretically outstall them for a uh, blizzard. Unless I get frozen. Okay, yeah, that happens. Mmm. Okay. Okay. I cannot afford to switch out now. I just have to let that happen. Take out a Nihilate. And, uh, yeah. I am just, I am doing horribly today. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. After this, I'm actually going to play against Great Cusco as well. But, uh, yeah, this is looking pretty bad. Looking really bad, actually. I'm just saying I'm not going to times four since I think that'd be a special overflow. Uh, you're probably right. Do I go for Hyper Beam? I think I do. Okay, they went for Gengar, but it doesn't matter too much. This is a really bad situation. Rock Slide does pretty much nothing. But I have, like, no other choices now. Go into my own Tauros. Or my own Tauros, I haven't taken out Tauros yet. And this Tauros has no way of actually hurting Gengar, so I'm just gonna hope it uh, switches out. As it doesn't want to risk uh, a Earthquake. And a crit, that helps. So maybe I can... Hmm... I'm going to switch into Skarmory now. It, Great Tusk can't really hurt the Skarmory. So I'm just going to have to really hope that Skarmory can burn those. Oof. Okay, I think I lost the game. Okay. Be ready. Okay, uh... Yep. Yep, this is how it ends, pretty much. I can get lucky with a with a blizzard freeze, but that's probably not gonna happen. Unless it does. Okay. So that uh maybe helps. But Okay, yeah, Metagross, but this is really why I have Fire Blast on it. Okay, that's annoying, but still can win this. Oh, it's a crit, a goddamn crit. Oh, it, Metagross can survive two Fire Blast? That's actually insane. And the Paralysis actually kind of, like, bit me in the ass there. Okay, so what could I have done differently? What could I have done differently there? Let's actually look at this team for a sec. Wait, did I just get unlucky? Or did that one chance of not getting sub really not work? I feel like I'm cooking with... Um, Jolting as a lead, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, either way, I got someone else to challenge now. A uh, great Gusco. We'll see. It says they're offline. Okay, uh. But overall, I definitely underperformed there. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I can do a little bit twinking, but let's see here. I think this is fine, but I guess since it does do bad against Smeargle, Jolteon might not be as good. But then again, it used... But then again, I feel like Jolteon does do good against, like, Sceptile and, um... What's it called? Starmie. So, I, I don't know. Uh, let's see if they're on now. 
Uh, they should be, because I just told them. Yeah, there we go. Uh, putting in the command. And let's challenge them. We'll see how this goes. Uh, good luck, have fun. Okay. Let's hope this does better. Because I, I really want to test out and make sure this team actually does good. But we'll have to see. Starmie lead, as I would have expected... I'll go for Thunder... I'll go for Thunderbolt. Yeah, I guess I had a feeling they were going to stay in. Going to explain why. And Psychic is definitely not what I would have expected, but... Now they kind of have to switch out. Yeah, they switch out in the right on. I don't fear this. I can hide in a sub. And then they go into Sceptile. So now I can just uh, fish for Paralysis. If it works, it, it works. If it doesn't, I don't care too much. So hit the body slam. Don't get the paralysis. That's fine. Does decent chip. Go in the mold trays. It tanks that easily. And I can go for a fire spin. Uh, just expecting whatever they take, I can pivot out of. There we go. I can now go back in the great tusk. And considering the Starmie is so low, I can just go for Headrun Rush and not fear anything. And even if they go back into Sceptile, I can just go back into Moltres. And that was a crit. Okay, that hit really hard. Go back into Moltres. And I will... Actually, I'm going to go, go for an Agility right now. I feel like I'm in a pretty good position. The Sceptile is basically dead. If they go into the Starmie, I can finish it off with Hyper Beam. Tauros. Uh, I don't fear that much either. And considering the Sceptile is so low, I... Admittedly, going for Hyper Beam is a little risky, because if they switch into, uh, Rhydon, it's all over. But at the same po point, um... Like, even Jolteon, I'm pretty sure, can Revenge Kill the Sceptile by now. But don't think this is a big deal. And they stayed in anyways. So, I think I'm gonna win this pretty easily. A lot better than the last games I had. Now... Hmm... Do I fire spin or do I just switch? I think it's safer just to, yeah, just a queen switch in. I'll go back in the Great Tusk. And now I am free to set up another sub. They were unable to break it. Or they can break it, obviously, but you know, they can't hurt Great Tusk, pretty much. Unless they stay in, but I'm not sure why you would stay in. And you can't really switch into Sceptile, because if I do attack, then, uh,. Then, like, you know, he gets killed. Goes in the hair across. And the Great Tusk can easily survive two of anything he wants. So it just, just gives me two chances just to fish for a paralysis. A crit also helps. It helps a lot. They go for counter. But now I'm going to switch back into Moltres, actually. Wait, but they already used counter. How does that... Use counter twice? That is weird. Either way though, now I, got, I still have just a queen switch into Alkazam. So this seems pretty easy. Alkazam dies. Not sure why they stayed in. Maybe they just didn't have anything else that could take it on. Uh, they go on the ride on. But now I can just get pretty reckless. So just go for a second Psychic. That crits. Kills the Rhydon. Uh, now I can switch into... Honestly, yeah. Let's switch into Great Tusk. I don't fear anything. Wizard, I don't care too much about. Because I have plenty of other Pokemon that can take it on. Now we just have Jolteon. Let's, let's go for Funsies. Let's go for Double Cake. Let's see if I get a crit or not. I do get a crit. Let's go. And that's a bit to a KO, basically. That also gets a crit. But I do not care. Now, will paralyze the Porygon? I can finish it off with my own Porygon. Or anything I want, for the most part. Actually, I can just go for rest. Yeah, let's go. They have Psychic. Don't care too much about it. Switch in the Algazam. Now, I can just use my own Psychics. Maybe even get a special drop. They can't do anything about it. A crit also helps. Helps a lot, actually. And they get full para. 
So now they have to switch into their last Pokemon, or just accept one of their other two getting killed. Meanwhile, I have two perfectly healthy and unrevealed Pokemon in the back. So, we have Sceptile, it's a speed tie, but I'm pretty sure even if he hits a Hyper Beam or a Leaf Blade, I still survive. Which leaves him with just one more Pokemon. So there we go. Uh, and it's Tentacruel. Not surprised. I have Jolteon and Alkazam. I take this easily. Ooh, even a lower special. Oh, God, I hate to see it, buddy. Hey. So there we go. The team didn't do bad that time. But also, this is also the same team that Great Goose Go always uses. So I'm not sure if... Like, it's really deserved or not. I'm going to try to use the exact same team again. Uh, see if it works. Because I want to, like, prove that, like, Jolteon Wheat is actually good. And anything else I want to change? Um, I feel like Rest is decent. You have... Maybe Porygon Z isn't too much too good here. Porygon Z should probably be replaced with Chansey. But we have another one of these, so we'll see how this one goes. This time I'll try paralyzing the Starmie instead, see how, how that goes. They immediately switch in the right on. I'm going to switch in the Porygon, try to be more offensive. We'll see how this goes. I can he easily recover that. They probably have to switch. If whenever they switch into, I just don't, I don't fear. Staying in with Rhydon's interesting. I'll recover again. Why are they staying in? Well, I guess I'll just go for a Blizzard. We'll see how much this does. If it crits, it kills. Doesn't kill, but... Ooh. Okay, now that's unfortunate. Actually, going for Substitute wasn't actually a bad play there. Because they were predicting I was going to go for uh, Recover again. So now we already have their Electric Immunity dead. This thing's probably going to go for Wrap, but I couldn't care less. I can... Switch into my Jolteon. And now, what do they have that takes a Thunderbolt? They don't really have anything. They have Heracross, but I can immediately just switch back into Porygon. Or, or Moltres, actually, yeah. They don't have anything that can really do with Moltres either. So I can just go for a Fire Spin and then just pivot into anything I want. So what do they switch into now? I don't know. But I... I feel pretty good about this. Uh, okay, they have... Okay, there we go. The Fire Spin. Now I'll switch in the Jolteon. Jolteon can do fine. I can Thunderbolt pretty much everything, and everything fears it outside of Sceptile. But with Sceptile, I also have Thunder Wave, which just makes the Sceptile completely useless. Not to mention they already know I have Moltres. So there we go. I'll sacrifice the Porygon Z. I no longer need it. It's already done its job. But it does get to survive, so actually, well, well, screw it. Let's see if we can survive this. Hopefully we can get full paralysis, but even if we don't, and even get killed by Leaf Blade, uh, let's just go for Blizzard. Okay, yeah, I should have just done that. Uh, Blizzard killed. I probably shouldn't be surprised. Either way, though, we're in a good position, and now I can let the Porygon die for realsies. I'll try to go for Thunderbolt, but I don't think it's gonna work. Go back in the Jolteon. So now what do you use in order to, uh, like, survive this? You don't really have anything. Both Alakazam and Jolteon just outspeed, and then they just murder everything. That does decent damage. Paralysis helps. I can go into Moltres. Actually, no, what's, just, what's, what's the Great Tusk? We can hide in a sub, and they're probably going to go for Counter again. So this time, I'm going to go for Rock Slide instead. Counter fails. I'll use Rock Slide. So now that does decent damage. They get full paralyzed. I'll go for Rock Slide again. And the Heracross is pretty much dead. Great Tusk can survive a single um, a Seismic Toss. It's still in the sub. So whatever they take out is in just in huge damage. Or huge... Uh, 
I'm saying Great Tusk can like probably kill it. I can go for a headlong rush now. Don't have to fear anything. How much does it do? Okay, half health. And I'm actually gonna just sacrifice the headlong or the Great Tusk now. It, it no, it did its job. And now I get a free switch into uh, Jolteon. I can uh, Thunderbolt everything freely. And with uh yeah with Rhydon and Sceptile down, uh, there's not much else. We can also sacrifice the uh, Moltres here. It's not very needed. The Fire Blast, it also doesn't really care about. So, uh, you can heal if you want. I can, I'm just gonna basically just use my Tauros for the sole purpose of just trying to take down Porygon Z. So, you can kill that. That's fine. Uh, ignore that. Now, we just go for Body Slam. And everything here fears it. Even Porygon kind of fears it. Because it doesn't want to, um... What's it called? Get crit. Actually, since he's spamming, uh... Hmm. I'm actually gonna go for Fire Blast. At least once. If I can get a burn, that can make this a little bit easier. Since it is spamming Recover. Or now I kind of have to go for Hyper Beam, actually. That almost kills. And that's full para. Unfortunate, but we're, we're still fine. We have Alakazam. Alakazam can Psychic. And then if it takes out the um, Starmie, or Starmie next, I can just dedicate most of my resources to... Um, or basically, I can just let Alakazam die to the Starmie. I'm not really scared. Actually, it's probably going to go for Recover, so no reason why I can't just switch into Jolteon. I can go for Thunderbolt, and now I'll just win the game. Because I don't think you stay into this. You can try going for a Thunder Wave, and you might survive. I don't know the uh, Calx by heart. But that seems like a big and really unnecessary risk. So I don't know why you would actually try to do that. If you can. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. They're definitely going to be thinking, which makes sense. Because you're, because if you're on Great Goose Goes, like, you know, um, position right now, uh, yeah. Like, I don't even think it matters. I think Jolteon just cleans up now. Jolteon easily takes this. Kills with a Thunderbolt. The crit didn't matter. All they have left is Tentacruel. And then, even if they wrap me, I'm faster. They can't paralyze me, I don't think. Okay, that's unfortunate. But even if, like, they somehow take down the Jolteon... Actually, now I can just, uh... I can just keep switching between, uh... Alakazam and Jolteon until Rap event never really misses. So this actually is not that bad. I'll just keep switching. I forgot that uh, Alakazam was paralyzed though, so I should probably just keep going for Jolteon instead. So I think I just made myself take unnecessary damage. But we'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll see how long the Rap goes for. But either way, I pretty much won this. I uh, really wish I could be looking at the other Tentacruel um, uh, sprite, though. The, the red and blue one. The one that's awesome. Okay, that does a crap ton of damage. Now, uh, yeah, they can't wrap me in. They can't, like, kill me in time. So I just have to keep clicking button until button lets me use Thunderbolt. So, GG. Uh, pretty good. But there's nothing else you can really do now. Thunderbolt kills, and that's game. So yeah, there we go. The first two matches I did were pretty bad, but I did significantly better the second time. However, that might not be justified since I feel like my team was specifically made to counter the Starmie lead. But then again, Starmie is the most popular like lead in the game right now. Just one of the best Pokemon in general. So maybe I'm cooking. Maybe lead Jolteon is worth considering. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this is Grandback, and I look forward to hearing from you.